What's going on, boys and girls? Back at it again with another episode of Sipping Samurai Piggy for ya. Just like last time, we are here to drink more beer. But before we begin, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, let them know what we're doing, let them know what we're drinking. And today, we are actually drinking a beer that I brewed. So, really excited about that. This was, well, this is the Old News Pilsner. It is a kind of, sort of, you know, beer that we're gonna, house beer that we always have. It's been there, it is there, and you know, we're gonna try to keep it going, but the, you know, loggers and pilsners take a very long time to, to finish. So, we'll see where we go with this, but here it is. So, this was actually one of three beers on the first canning run we did, and that was, huh, a couple of months ago. Yeah, the first, so for the first canning run, we did the Old News Pilsner. We did two collabs. We did one with Weird, uh, with Tripping Animals, which was the Weird Trip sour that we hit with black currant strawberry and raspberry and then we did the collab that we a double ipa collab that we hit with unseen creatures both were with them were amazing beers they are obviously gone there we don't have any more but we just finished selling out the old news pilsner we still have some in the tap room and this little bad boy is courtesy of lincoln's beard brewing so I have done a beer in the past with them, where you can catch right up here. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about the style of beer. So the German style Pilsner is pale in, is straw to pale in color with a multi sweetness can, that can be perceived in both the aroma and the flavor. So the perception of hot bitterness is medium to high. You'll typically get the well, you'll always get the noble type hop aroma and flavor that are moderate and quite obvious. Distinctly different from the Bohemian style or the Czech style Pilsner, this style is lighter in color and body and has a lower perceived hop bitterness. So the one, the, the one that you actually go to when you talk about a Bohemian style, Czech style Pils is the Pilsner Urkel. So fun fact about that, the Pilsner Urkel was actually brewed in 1842 in the Czech town of Pilsen and they actually set the style for that beer they had a bohemian brewer come in and he you know set the style they were able to brew that beer because of the softer water that they had there so the water actually played a big part in that beer becoming what it is today or you know just what it is in general and the classic examples the of that style used to be conditioned in wooden tanks and they had a less sharp hot bitterness to them but despite the similar ibu ranges to the german style pilsner so low levels of diacetyl which is typically an off flavor are acceptable in this style and these the well the czech style pills are going to be darker in color and higher in final gravity than their german counterparts so Basically, what this all sums up to is this is a crispy boy. Easy drinking, crusher, super sessionable. You can drink all day. And I mean, obviously, you keep drinking, you'll get drunk. But for the most part, this will carry you through the day, through your tailgates, through your pool days, through, you know, when we are able to go out in general. So I'm really excited to drink this because it's one of my favorite beers. So let's get to it. Oh, and this is 4.9% ABV. This beautiful label was designed by the Freaks Design girls. And we used Hallertau Mittelfrü, one of the four noble type hops, for this beer. So, let's try it. So, as I stated, crispy a boy. Look at that color. So, straw to, gold, straw to pale gold. So, you can definitely see that that's that straw color. Very see through, very light. You can see right through it. Nice little head formation on the top there. So, 
So you definitely get those, the hop notes on the nose, but you get like a water cracker, slight white bread scent. And just an amazing drinking beer. So it might seem like I may be biased because I brewed this beer, but what I'm really proud of and what I'm really happy about, no off flavors, medium to light body beer, super sessionable, washes over your palate, super crisp, super refreshing. I mean, straight up crispy boy. And it leaves a slight resonance on the back of your tongue. You get a, you get that water, water, that water cracker, that, you know, like white bread kind of taste, bready taste on the back of your tongue. And you get a little bit of those hops as well with, mixed into it, which is really nice, really crisp, super sessionable. As I stated, all of the above, which amounts to a super crispy boy that you can drink all the time. So we did sell out of these, so I'm super sorry about that. But we are going to be doing a, so this was a German style Pilsner as I was, as I was talking about, but we are going to be releasing a Czech style Pilsner. We did that as a collab with Old Dogs Brewery out of Virginia. And that is actually coming out on Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. That is going to be canned. So definitely can be sending out some stuff. And we are also going to be canning a guava sour and a double IPA that we did ourselves. So great drinking beers, super happy to be a part of this company, part of this family, part of this industry, which, you know, builds each other up, never breaks each other down. And yeah, I'm going to definitely go crush this beer. And yeah, before I go, you know, I always like to give love to the peeps that tuned in. But before I do, please don't forget, you can catch me on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, all those places. You can hit me up. Have you... Have you tried this beer? Mm -hmm. Do you like German style Pilsners, Czech style Pilsners, or American Pilsners? What's your pre preference? You let me know, let's talk. Okay. And thank you very much, Monty. My lovely wife, you know, just hit me up and was like, hey, you didn't do your food pairing. I am getting used to doing these videos again, so I forgot about that. So yeah, let's do that. So food pairing, definitely no, dark, heavy, fatty meats. I wouldn't do anything of that sort. I can definitely see this pairing extremely well with like a black pepper turkey or, you know, just a like Thanksgiving meal in general because it's super light and it can counterbalance all those heavy foods and, and, you know, it just pairs well with white meat. So then I can go on the opposite side and say also it would pair well, extremely well with like a Chicken, it's definitely a barbecue beer. It's definitely a lawnmower beer for hot days, poolside, beachside, when we're able to go back to the beaches again. You know, I can also pair this alongside some, you know, to, to my German friends, some Wiener Schnitzel. I can definitely pair this alongside some Bratwurst. So I can do just like straight up a, I know it's Belgian, but like a cone of French fries. I think, you know, some just French fries alongside this. And in the pescatarian realm, I could definitely see myself not pairing this with any of the fatty fish like salmon or like, you know, like a fat belly tuna, anything on those ends. But I could definitely see myself pairing this with like a tilapia or a corvina or, you know, if you have some crab claws, I think that'd be, or, you know, just like a blue, uh, blue, sh blue shell crab, I think that'd be great with. Or, you know, uh, stone, stone claws, I think that'd be great with or you know just lobster lobster tail if you want to get a little fancy on it you know throw a little some little lobster a little chef kiss and yeah you can definitely do a lot with it and also this i feel like you can use as a base for a lot of things like if you want to make a stew you can maybe like a, make a beer stew or a saute for like veggies, for chicken, for like any of the things that I mentioned earlier, I think it'd be delicious to pair along with as well. And yeah, so thank you for that. 
And before I go, you know, I always like to give love to the people that tuned in. So let's do that. Oh, we got my little Sergeant Pepper here. He might, you might be seeing his little beak come in here. We had Chef Mark. We had Gala's Pizza. Ganje. Irish. Mode. My dude, Big Jack. The lovely Maria again. I know I needed to get back on it, dude. Hot Bod, Craft Beer with Mike, T3WF, Hopped Adventures, my lovely wife, The Homies, Strange Beast, my dude, G Money, Box Elder, Parachet Blogs, hey, you're helpful, foodie, how you doing? Sauma, Los Tanitos, love those guys, and Bruscas Brews. Guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in to just like listen to me talk about beer. I really, really appreciate it. Again, I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay six feet apart from people, wash your hands, be easy. You know, we're gonna, things are gonna be rolling back to normal before you know it. We're gonna be getting out there. You're gonna be able to actually sit at the brewery and drink the beers again of the places that you love. But till then, till we get that mark, Stay home, stay safe, be healthy, be easy. Till the next time, my friends. Can't tell how much I love and appreciate you. Cheers. Peace.